Hi everyone, my name is Lynn Archibald from Lynn Archibald Excel Art and Design and I also run Felt Making School Felt with Lina. I launched my new online class end of November on gloves, mittens, um, fingerless mittens and um, leg warmers, leg warmers. I do, I am wearing them at the moment. <laughs> this is my leg form warmers. Honestly, it's great. I'm in my studio wearing them all the time. I do yoga wearing them all the time. I take my dog to before walk wearing them all the time. It's just fantastic. Um, let me put them back. <laughs> I just, just ingrown with my um, leg warmers. So the purpose of this video is to answer your questions. This video equally useful for my students who already have this class. They ask a few questions and for anyone who would like to know more and I hope this video will answer your questions. If it does not, please get in touch with me. I will put email at the end of this video, okay? So, I have questions here and I'll start to answer these questions. Okay, the first question, what, what access do you have to my classes? If I buy new class, how long I can view my class? If you buy standalone class or part of bundle, uh, then you have unlimited access to your classes. You will have dashboard, your student dashboard, where you can view these classes at any time. I keep this way because I keep updating these classes. I can add more materials. And I did have, I'm human, and I had a few issues with videos. And when my students pointed out, I immediately corrected. This way, you have access to the latest version of my class. You can access my classes either via laptop, computer, mobile, iPad, okay? Hope this answer your question. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Question number two. What do I do if I'm stuck and I need help? I get it. These are pre-recorded classes. So you create in your own time. When you're watching video, you have button on top of your video chat. So you can click and ask question related to that video. I do my best because we all live in different time zones to respond to your question within 24 hours. That's first way. Second, we have closed Facebook group for students where we share, we ask questions. I post information, I post Facebook Lives when I do them. <laughs> December been busy, I'm not deliver any apologies for this. I'm planning to do more. Um, yeah, um, I'm here to help. Send me email. I encourage students to ask questions via chat or Facebook class group because others can see, others can learn, and others can contribute, okay? You are not on your own. Don't worry. If you bought a class, it doesn't mean that's it. You bought class, you're on your own. No, you're not. Question number three. How to achieve gloves being soft and fine? My gloves are soft and fine. Look, they they really nicely, you know, bend the same with my um, mittens. Really love to take my mittens 
on the walk with my dog, okay, or gloves, but for some reason mittens at the moment my favorite, okay, they're soft, the little, they have little stretch, not a lot, okay, but still they're comfortable. The secret is in layout, and I know it, layout can be challenging, but make a sample, practice your layout, okay? Also, make sure you don't overfelt. I do in my practice, I encourage my students, if you're not sure if it's felt it or not, stop, dry your felt and then check next day, then you will see. And I have blog on um, how to determine if my felt is ready, okay? It's better way, okay? And often uh, when I make gloves, I make them slightly bigger because I dry them and then I check, do I need to uh, felt longer or not? So, the secret in your layout and make sure you don't over felt or equally under felt okay question number four okay what if i don't have uh, materials as suggested in the class can i substitute of course you can you know i encourage my students to to experiment. I love experimenting myself. So main material is merino wool, 18 and a half, 19 microns. Here, I would not go thicker than 21. Okay, we want that softness and that's the secret. You can use merino wool less than 18 and a half, 15. I don't work with this wool in my practice. I'm finding that this is not the cheapest. <laughs> However, it is good for particular projects, and that would be good for this project. We still need to take in consideration we're creating gloves, not scarves or shawls, which for any weather, if it's cold outside, it needs to be warm. Uh, then my students ask, we don't have viscose, don't worry, don't use viscose. You can use, uh, I don't know if I have here, Tusa silk. Okay, we need only little, little uh, amount of uh, materials uh, for our gloves. We can't cover um, uh, our uh, gloves just with silk hunkies. Okay, we can use uh, bamboo a little bit too heavy. So if you use bamboo, bamboo is heavier than viscose in my experience. Super fine, super fine. I had to lay. <laughs> Sorry, too much excitement. I had question about um, um, sari silk. This is sari silk, okay? Yes, you can use sari silk, but I would just stretch. In fact, I'm not been using a lot, so you encouraging me now to try. So if you stretching, can you see? You just take get the sari silk and you just stretching. Okay, you see, and then you can, you can create your layer. Okay, look, it's okay if wool comes through, of course, wool has to come through. But in our case, we are using fine layer, right? In, on one side for lining, on another side for texture. So yes, this is a sari silk rowan you can use, easy to work with. Right, where can I get um, materials from? Of course, we're all in different countries. So if you stuck, ask question in the group, in our Facebook group. We have many people from different countries. They can direct you. I do sell um, silk sari waste. I do sell silk hunkies at the moment because uh, due Brexit, it's been, uh, operation been interrupted a little bit. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, and I can create pack for you. If you're really stuck, give me a call and I will create pack for you for gloves or what projects 
following my class you're doing. I'll, I'll help you, okay? So that about materials. Oh, can I use wool buds instead of robin? Of course you can, you can. This is little bit of wool bud. Then you have to separate your wool buds very fine, okay? Some wool buds great, you have just like even layer, some not. So then you really need to play and tease and it's, I need to put something dark to show you. And then look, and you just start to tease, one layer should be enough, okay? That was a question from one of my students. Can I use wool buds? I love to work with wool buds. Yes, and you can make your own wool buds. You know that, do you? <laughs> okay, the next question. Okay, what if I cannot... Um... Oh, I can't read the question. It's about pattern, right. Basically, um, what if I don't want to have pattern I have and I want to create my own pattern? Yes, of course. Again, I encourage you. What, for example, on my, um, yeah, uh, I don't know if you can see, on my uh, fingerless, I did add yarns, little yarn. I did add some sparkles, okay? So I created a little bit more texture, right? What you can do, can you see this hat? This is one of my classes, reversible hat. You can create set. You can put this embellishment, which is felt, okay? You can add yarns on your hat, on your neck warmer, on your gloves. You can put as well here, little embellishment. You can put yarns. Um, be careful, I would add not wool yarns. Here is Hessian. This is my love to Hessian. Uh, if you add wool yarns, they might... If you add on top of all embellishment, it's fine. If you add inside, they might disappear. So yes, create your own, create your own patterns. You can add silk here, fabric silk. You can do lace here, you know, just here lace. Even you could probably do lace here and here. It's up to you. You could actually, like, if you... Here I have lining, yes, with fiber. You could you leave just wool. However, my idea, wool has tendency to this... How this called? Oh, I forgot the term. Sorry. Like little bubbles, bubbling. So if we don't cover wool with fiber and it's quite wearable this yeah you will have lots of bubbles inside that's the nature of wool it doesn't matter how well you felt it or not look at your wool jumpers after wearing for a long time i have bubbles here and all here because this is where most wearable parts okay and that's the reason i cover my work some fiber here stuck Whatever I create with fiber on one side and fiber on another side, making it reversible. Okay, hope it answers the question. Right. Okay, the, uh, this class has few ideas to make, such as mittens, fingerless, gloves, leg warmers. Um, what is the best to start from? First of all, I always say start with pattern, with sample. Forget about it. Start with sample. Get know your materials. Get know your layout. Get know your shrinkage. Okay, I'm giving your shrinkage here. And uh, that shrinkage should work. Okay, because I made different sizes and I use the same different... Um, gloves and fingers and I use the same coefficient of pattern increase. Make sample. Next step I would make either gloves. You have a um, video how to create pattern but you have very detailed videos how to create gl uh, gloves. Right, okay, with all these fingers. Nothing stops you following these videos, how to create gloves, create mittens, 
create fingerless, create leg warmers. I would start with mittens or fingerless. Okay, get no technique well. Practice with a layout. Okay, and then go and create gloves. That is my advice. By the way, the, whatever you learn in this class is applicable to other projects like hats and other wearables. If you manage to create fine layout for your gloves, what stops you then create any wearable like dress or tunic using what you learn in this class? Okay. Next question. Okay, um, I'm just looking through because I answer some questions like about embellishment already answer question. And I, we already talked about sari silk. I was jumping around. Okay, question about um, pattern. What materials I need to create resist? This is underfloor underlay. It comes in different colors. It's come in different thickness. For some reason, I thought I was working it with two mil till I check label. It is one mil. Okay. Um, if you prefer two mil, great. What's the advantage between uh, of two mil floor underlay? It's thicker. You feel that um, resist better. However, we working with super fine layout. That's you, you should be okay. I do not use uh, which material. Oh, this is on the floor. <laughs> I prefer not to use plastic because by the time we start to add uh, lots of uh, fiber, fiber can stick to fi uh, plastic. So I prefer to use something like this. Okay. I'm just looking. I have a beautiful bird in the garden. I don't have a clue. Black and white, beautiful bird. Sorry, <laughs> that's uh, having studio in the garden. Okay, and uh, more uh, questions about uh, resist. How can I create, how can I enlarge my glove, my hand? You have video. For some reason, few people who um, a few uh, people who not bought this class, that was the main concern, how to create this pattern. And what I have for you, I have a video for you to try to create this pattern yourself. So many ways you can, if you must have good in a geometry, you can use that rules. I did not, I used just what the way I create simple way. You have a pattern to print. I recognized that that may be an issue. It took me some time. It took me some time to adjust to my, and to create a good quality, good shape pattern. So what you will get, uh, this pattern is all, can you see four pages, four printed, you know, ordinary uh, standard printer pages, paper, four of them stuck together this is sellotape, okay? And that's what you get in the class. However, I have not provided your pattern to create glove. It is simple. It is much simple. And if you learn how to make, if it's something new to you, totally new, how to make pattern for glass or fingerless, you can make any pattern. It just... It's great to have pattern, but we all different size. I mean, with gloves, is you can use one one size pattern because you will be shaping them according to your size. But you know, it's great skill to have in felt making to create your own patterns. Okay, a little challenge, but not too difficult for you. Oh, I had to kind of question from my students about the sponge. You know, I just this is a tool. You know, this is a tool. This is not just for, no, I don't know how to use this for shower, <laughs> but it is sponge for shower. Fair enough, my sponge has plastic. It just, it is, it's apparently for men. Don't know. 
and it's just convenient to hold however if you don't have this it's not a problem you still can hold sponge this is great because uh, I add water especially if it's very fine layout I can just even sponge my dip my sponge in water and do this I add soap and when I bend my wool around resist this is just great you know at the moment this is my favorite tool and I'm just looking what is next every time I go to shop I'm looking for tools for felt making in beauty shops in supermarkets that's I bought this from some pound stretch or pound saver shop and I bought only two mistake but at that time I didn't know how would you I, I would use this I just bought thinking then I'll think how to use right that's all um there is a special price on gloves class I like to give you good price affordable till 13th of December then price will go slightly higher um we also have special bundle at the moment which gives you saving up to 80 percent you can combine using if you buy in class on gloves see what else you would like to like i have a very detailed online class on this double-sided hat and uh, neck warmer that's all i'm really looking forward to see what you create and please ask questions i'm always here to help i want you not just buy class i want you to create and enjoy the creative process and enjoy the community of similar-minded people thank you so much for attention all the best goodbye